restaurant style beef vindaloo cooked in the instant pot effortlessly this is an incredibly aromatic flavorful fiery and spicy dish and look at that vibrant color Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great. In this video, I'm going to share the recipe for making restaurant style beef vindaloo in the instant pot. Vindaloo is a popular curry based dish in India. It's actually popular in the state of Goa in India. However, the origin of vindaloo is Portugal and in Portuguese this dish is called I have to look for the right word carne de vina de aloes I hope I got the pronunciation correct so any Portuguese watching this video do let me know so the traditional vindaloo in Portugal the meat is marinated in wine and garlic however in India obviously Indians tweak the recipe and the meat is marinated in vinegar and garlic this is a spicy and fiery dish. It will wake up your taste buds uh, bursting with flavor. So this is found on the menu of almost all Indian restaurants. It's also popular in British Indian cuisine. So guys, let's get started. The very first step is to soak dried red chilies. So we have to soak it for an hour. So I have two kinds of dried red chilies here. So this is regular dried red chilies. Um, so this is very hot. And we also get uh, Kashmiri dried red chilies. So this is mild and it has an intense red color. So there is a difference between these two in appearance. Look at this. The Kashmiri red chilies, um, it has a wrinkled uh, uh, skin while the regular red chilies, it doesn't have that. So it's a very obvious uh, difference. So if you prefer mild beef vindaloo, use Kashmiri uh, dry red chilies. And if you like really spicy, hot uh, beef vindaloo, use the regular dry red chilies. I'm going with the um, Kashmiri dry red chilies. My hubs uh, doesn't like too spicy food. So I'm gonna soak these. Um, so we're gonna take like 10 dried red chilies. Just adding some water and let's soak this for an hour. So that's when it will turn soft and then we are going to make a, a sauce with this. Here are the soaked Kashmiri dried red chilies. So I have soaked this for an hour. So if you want this dish to be super spicy, add regular dried red chilies. So next, let's make a sauce to a blender jar. I'm going to add just the uh, chilies. So wear a gloves, it's really hot. So just uh, add the chilies. So I've taken 10 dried chilies and next let's add all the other ingredients one tablespoon coriander seeds half tablespoon cumin seeds so i'm gonna also add a few whole pepper cones two large garlic cloves and two in slice fresh ginger next adding all the aromatic whole spices three whole cardamom two in slice whole cinnamon and two whole cloves I'm also going to add half onion chopped, roughly chopped. So to this, let's add like quarter cup water, the same water used for soaking the chilies. It has some flavor in it. So now let's grind this and make into a smooth paste. To the ground dried red chilies and other ingredients, let's add two tablespoon white vinegar. So I spill some vinegar and now my kitchen smells like vinegar. So next I'm going to again uh, blend this and make into a smooth paste. So here is the ground paste. Look at this. Love this color, so vibrant. And I have taken half kilo stew cut beef. So I'm gonna make this with beef. Um, you can also make this with a chicken, either boneless chicken or bone in chicken pieces. But the cooking time in the instant pot will be different if you're using chicken. For uh, bone in chicken pieces, it will be 10 minutes and boneless, uh, it will be only five minutes. And for beef, we have to pressure cook in the instant pot for almost 30 minutes. So next, let's add this ground paste to the stew cut beef. So add all the sauce to it. So wear a gloves, it's super hot. So I'm going to take all the 
paste out of the blender. It's good stuff. So we don't want to miss anything. And then combine everything to the beef. So mix it well. Let the beef coat in this amazing sauce. I can feel the heat from the Kashmiri dried red chilies and peppercorns. And yes, we have to season the beef with salt. So adding one teaspoon salt. Again, mix everything. So we need to let the beef marinate in this sauce for at least an hour. So marination is key. You can also marinate this for a longer time. If you prefer, you can also do it overnight. So make this the previous day, let it marinate overnight, and then you can make the beef vindaloo the next day. So I'm gonna marinate this for an hour. So I have kept the beef in the refrigerator, uh, let it marinate for an hour and in the meantime I'm doing some prep work, I'm chopping some onions, tomatoes and a cilantro. So I wanted to share with you guys how I store a cilantro so it will stay fresh for a few weeks. Here is the cilantro, I just took it out of the refrigerator. So it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a few weeks. Uh, look at this, it's almost fresh, it has not wilted. So this is what I do after I buy fresh cilantro. Do not wash it in water. If there are any wilted leaves, just discard them and wrap them in a kitchen paper towel like so. Wrap it really well and then place it in a container, airtight container. You can either use a glass container, I'm using a zip top container a silicon container and then close it well and keep it in the refrigerator cilantro will stay fresh for a few weeks and next time when you take cilantro if you find any wilted leaves just discard them and again wrap it uh, in the paper towel and keep it in the refrigerator so this really works so give it a try and let me so let's start cooking beef vindaloo in the instant pot uh, so i have the instant pot here let's first turn on saute setting temperature should be medium and click start so I'm using Instant Pot Ultra model. You can use any kind of models, Instant Pot Duo, um, you know, seven in one, whatever you have. And let the stainless steel pot turn hot. So the pot has turned hot. Let's add one tablespoon oil. If you prefer, you can also add ghee. Let's add one onion chopped. Season with half teaspoon salt. To the onions, we don't have to add ginger garlic paste or any other spices. We have already added everything uh, to the sauce. So let this turn light golden and then I'll be adding some tomatoes. So now let's add one tomato chopped. So let's cook this for a couple of minutes. You don't have to cook for long. We are going to pressure cook the beef. So everything will be mashed up after we pressure cook the beef. To the onions and tomatoes, let's add the marinated beef. I have marinated the beef for an hour. So add or dump everything. So there is some marinade left in the bowl. So adding quarter cup water and rinse the bowl well. You don't want to miss any of these amazing sauce. So add the water to the beef. Give it a good mix. So I've only added quarter cup water so we don't have to add a, a lot of water while pressure cooking meat in the instant pot. Um, so liquid will ooze out of the beef and after pressure cooking there will be enough gravy in the pot. So this is perfect and let's uh, close the pot with the lid. To cancel saute setting and next let's select pressure cook setting. So since this is beef, we have to set the time to 30 minutes. So that's when the beef will turn really soft. But if you prefer a little more firm cooked beef, you only have to pressure cook for 25 minutes. I'm going with 30 minutes. Pressure should be high and click start. A few things to keep in mind while pressure cooking in the instant pot, uh, we have to close the lid tightly and yes of course we have to keep the sealing ring uh, inside the lid and close it tightly so if it's not tightly closed the pressure um, will be released through the 
uh, gap and the pressure will not build so for instant pot ultra model i don't have to turn the steam release valve to venting or sealing but I, I always make sure it's kept tight just press it down and here's the float valve so when the pressure builds this will come up and to release the pressure after pressure cooking i just have to press this uh, button so it says press to vent so if you have an instant pot uh, duo model seven in one duo uh, you have to turn the steam release valve to sealing while pressure cooking so the pressure is sealed and to release the pressure it has to be turned to venting it means the pressure is being vented so let this pressure cook for 30 minutes so it will take a few minutes for the pressure to build and then the uh, timer will start now it's showing preheating so the pressure cooking has completed i'm going to let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then let's do a quick pressure release let's do a quick pressure release all right guys so the pressure has released completely let's open the lid and i'm super excited Ooh, look at this so it smells really aromatic and the beef has cooked perfectly it's fork tender look at this and there is um, enough gravy in the pot so next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna thicken the gravy so let's cook this in a saute setting for a few minutes so let's thicken the sauce so i'm going to turn on saute saute temperature medium click start so let's uh, saute cook this for a few minutes and the gravy will thicken i gave a taste and taste beyond perfect uh, super delicious the amount of salt is perfect um, and the spice level it's a bit spicy however not extremely spicy as i've added uh, kashmiri dried red chilies if i've added regular dried red chilies it would be fiery and way too spicy so if you want it extremely spicy go ahead and add regular dried red chilies I'm enjoying the sizzling sound uh, so we only have to saute cook this for a few minutes uh, till the gravy thickens now if you prefer some gravy don't have to saute cook for, for long just for a couple of minutes should be good so this is pretty good um, so the gravy has almost thickened I'm not going to thicken completely so let's uh, cancel saute setting and let's take the pot out of the main pot otherwise it will continue to cook take the pot out of the main pot so as it sits it will further thicken so don't uh, thicken the gravy completely and the final step yes we gotta garnish the beef vindaloo with the chopped cilantro i have thickened the gravy in saute setting for a few minutes uh, so now if you want a dry dish uh, you can saute cook for a few more minutes until uh, the gravy thickens completely but i love to have uh, some gravy in it so i'm keeping it let's serve the beef vindaloo in a bowl i am taking deep breaths in smells so aromatic and look at this vibrant red color whoa i cannot wait to dig in smells so good guys so the, so the final step is to drizzle some yogurt on top of the beef vintelo so yogurt will cool off that heat so here is the yogurt so beat it well using a spoon and let's drizzle it over the beef into like so Ooh. So I'm going to enjoy beef vindaloo with uh, pita bread. Uh, so we can enjoy this with um, basmati rice, naan or chapatis or even rotis. Look at the tender, fork tender beef. Here you have it guys, beef vindaloo restaurant style that's cooked in the instant pot effortlessly. So this is an extremely aromatic, flavorful, spicy and fiery dish and we can enjoy this with a basmati rice, naan or rotis. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more instant pot cooking videos. Until then. 
happy cooking take care and bye